Hi, I'm Steve Walters, America Photonics. Uh, this is our brand new K40, straight from the factory. And I'm gonna, I've been challenged to do an alignment with my new laser alignment tool that uh, I'm gonna go in. So the first thing I wanna show you coming in closer is uh, in the close realm, this has a nice burn right down on the wood. Looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so without doing an alignment, let's see how it looks over here. You know, I'm not getting anything anymore. It's not burning the wood at all. So it would look like this has bad alignment. So let's take a look at it. I screw my, my tool in here. Okay. And with that, you have the beam that comes out. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take a piece of tape, put it on the first mirror. It's not really touching it. And let's take a look at how that looks. Okay, not terrible. Well, it actually isn't too good. You can see it walking over. Now this head doesn't have any uh, three axis of movement. It only rotates, so I have a pair of pliers. And let's see if I can, if I can get it uh, in the right place. I wanna get it to not move. And I can't do any adjustment up or down on it. So we're just gonna hope that the um, everything else is good. It looks like a, I'm gonna put a little black dot on here as a reference dot so I can see where I am. See how it's moving from a spot because I wanna get it close. And, okay, see on the dot it's, it's moving. Now it's easier to see uh, how much it's moving and maybe where I wanna put it. See if I moved it. This is a tricky part of this because of the K40 and the way this head works. But it's not, it's not impossible. It, it is impossible without this tool. It's moving a little bit still. Now this, this tool represents exactly dead center of the lens and 90 degrees perpendicular so. You know, I'm gonna definitely call that good enough. So that, I'm done with the head. Now we're gonna look at uh, mirror two. Okay, so now I wanna do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a reference tape over here on mirror one. Okay, and I wanna see how that is hitting it. You know what? Looks like that mirror is dirty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take some alcohol and a Q-tip, and I'm just gonna give it a brush here and see what I. Oh, now I got a nice dot over on. Now you can see the dot very nicely on mirror three. Okay, very nice dot. So that mirror actually came dirty. So now it's cleaner. And that would affect your CO2 beam as well as the red beam. And I can see that. Now, so I go in and out, and I gotta try not to twist it when I push it. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Let's see. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put a reference dot on this piece here. So I can kind of see if it's moving a lot or not. And It, it isn't. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. You know what, I really like that right there. That's really nice. So at that point, mirror two is done, the head is done. You know, whatever you do, we don't ever want to touch those again. You're gonna see some maybe weird stuff when we do the CO2 part, but those are done. Those are perfect. Don't ever touch them, okay? Now, you have to take the laser tool out now because we're gonna be doing the CO2 laser because I've seen where people take and bounce their CO2 and it goes right in that little hole and burns up the red laser. It doesn't work very good after that. 
So I take this, I unscrew it because the batteries don't last forever if you leave it screwed in. And we have a black dot on there, on this one here. I, so I know where the CO2 should hit. Let's see if the tube was aligned. Let's hope the, ho the tube was good because I hate having to move the tube. So I'm at 9% uh, power, just to get a little short shot. Okay, it's, it's close, it's a little bit off. It's just off to the, the side there. Um, what, I, what I'm gonna try to do right now, because I don't wanna move the tube. I'm gonna move my red dot over to that dot. Okay, so that I want the two dots. I want the CO2 dot and my red dot to be in the same spot. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, put this back in. I'm hitting number one. It's bouncing back here, okay? And I, I wanna get it closer to where that CO2 is hitting. Okay, so I'm gonna move it out a little bit, right? And see if I can make those two overlap without very much movement. And, um, and see if, it, if, it, if, it, if it'll pre-stay, it'll stay good right there and be at the same spot as, so those two lasers are making contact. Boy, that looks nice. You know, it ends close and far, right in the same spot. And I move the, this also. Okay. You know, it's actually doing the wrong one there. It's actually looking really, really good. Okay. So, that does look good. Now my, my mirrors are aligned. Now we have to do mirror number one. This mirrors three and two are, are good. So the first thing I want to do is put a piece of tape on the head here and mark my spot where that where that red laser is. So I know the entrance point. Okay, now I'm gonna take this out because again, I don't want to burn up my red laser. Okay, undo the thing so the batteries don't go dead. And uh, we're gonna do it, let's do it far away. Let's see how close this is here. We'll do a test fire, it's gonna burn the tape here. And let's see where that is. Okay, it's, it's way up here. That's why I wasn't getting any burning on the, on the wood because it's, it's missing the mirror. Okay, and if I get in close, Let's see where that's going to end up here. And uh, it's still a little bit high. So let's, let's, let's see if I can move that in. Let's get it out more here. Because it's not that bad. Let's see here. Okay, it's high. Let's see if I can get that down a little bit. That's too much. Okay, let me move this one. Let me move this one. Okay, it looks like I'm almost right on it there. Okay. That one actually was over top of it, so I'm pretty... Yeah, it looks, I was, it was in the center. Okay, there we go, right, right there is about perfect. Sorry about where that was. Let's do it again with another piece of tape and we're gonna burn it close. Okay, and you can see it here, come on out. You can see where it burned close here. That's where it burned close and now we're far. Let's see if it burns and it hits the dead same spot, okay? So if I take this off, it should burn my wood really good now, and it is. Let's burn a nice big dot on my wood right down here, and everything looks good. And if I get close, it's probably gonna burn the wood really nice again. This is at 9% power. Okay, so it actually looks really nice. Um, I see a little bit of dirt on there. So again, I wanna take that from burning that mirror, I got some uh, stuff on there, which I don't want. So let me just 
rub that like that. Nice and soft. These will scratch easy, so you want to be soft with that. And uh, let's see, maybe this one too, just in case. Rotating it. The alcohol will melt. It's pure alcohol, so there won't be any residue left when it melts, when it evaporates off. And let's take a look and see how this uh, burn looks here now. This is at very low power. Oh, I just nice dot. Okay. Let's come out far. Let's try it again. Get down in here and let's see how this looks down close. And again, nice round dot. Mirrors are clean. Things are aligned. And that's the basics of an alignment for my, my universal. And it's perfect. Thanks.